Hi everyone, Dan Toombs the Curry Guy here and today I'm going to show you how to make doses. Uh, I've already done a video on um, dosa batter and this batter you can use in Eatly's and Utapalms as well. But today I'm going to just show you a very simple one. Now these pans, I bought these for about a fiver about three or four years ago. Um, they're really cheap non-stick pans. Um, just want to show you, you don't need anything fancy to make a dosa. The reason why I've got two on here is because I'm going to mess one up on purpose. Just so you know that when you do try this, it's, it's okay if it doesn't, uh, it doesn't work out for you because it will still taste really good. I kind of look at it like I do pancake day. You know how when you make a pancakes on pancake day for your family and uh, by the time you actually make them start looking good, everyone's full because you just kind of mess them up the first few times and then they get better. Well, that's kind of what you'll probably end up doing when you make doses for the first time. So the pans are quite high here. You can see that, that one's smoky. This one I'm going to mess up on purpose just so you can see what happens when you have your pan too hot. So we've got a nonstick pan there and I'm going to put this in and as you can see, it's breaking up, getting a little bit clumpy. See that? Ah, so that doesn't look like a dosa, does it? It looks terrible. Thing is, so what? Even though it looks terrible, I promise you, It'll still taste good. Just try and straighten it out as best you can. I'm going to cook that there for a while while I'm doing the other. Now, the way you should do it is you have your nonstick pan. Take a little bit of water. As it's nonstick pan, you don't need oil. This is not the way I normally cook doses, by the way. I'm just going to cool off the pan there with that water. And then I'm going to take the dosa batter. I'm going to do it really quickly. See that? It's going right out like it's supposed to. Maybe around the sides a bit. Perfect. And that's kind of what you're looking for. I'm going to try and get that around there like that. Okay, so these are butter doses that I'm doing. As you can see, this one's looking a bit odd. But it's working. It's going to look at it. Look at the bottom. Yeah, see? So you messed up your free, you mess up your first one and it looks like a big mess. Oh well. So let it keep cooking. Doses you don't really need to um, you don't need to uh, flip them over. Some people do, but you don't need to. I'm just gonna let this kind of start. As you can see, it starts to break around off the sides as it begins to cook. There we are. I'm gonna let that just keep cooking there. While that's cooking, I'm gonna put a little bit of butter on each of them. There we are. So we got the one over here that's not doing too well. We got this one over here that's doing really nicely. Look at that, it's coming right off. Look at that. Okay. It's getting really nice and toasty on the bottom there. And get a board here, which I should have put over here in the first place. And I'm going to try both of them. So here we are with the butter around on that. Very simple dosa here. I'm going to just roll that up like this with my hands. Look at that. One dosa. And this one, which has all that kind of spongy stuff on the top. I messed it up on purpose. Okay. Well, let's just flip it over. Not a big deal. That will get cooked too. Now, the batter is the same batter on both of these. Here you have your nice crispy dosa. Look how nice and thin that is around the edges there. Yeah? Nice crispy dosa. And this one's looking more like what you call an utapalm. But all is not lost because it will still taste very nice. Okay, now, whenever I make doses, I have to have a few chutneys. Usually I make sambar, but I haven't made, which is like a soupy dip for it as well, but I haven't done that today. But I do have some nice uh, different, uh, I've got my ginger chutney, my uh, tomato and chili and onion chutney. I've got a coconut chutney there and also a coriander and chili chutney. And I have recipes for all these on the channel, so you can try them all, but let's just give this a go. Some of this, this 
all my favourite ones, so I'm going to try it. Mmm. So good. That's a nice coconut one. Really good. But just so you don't, I'm not lying about this, in case you do decide to try this recipe and you mess up big time like I did there. Fluffier, just as good. You can't go wrong. As you practice, you'll get better at them. You'll make them thinner and you'll you'll just once you get to that stage where you can just make them thin and everything you're going to be doing it all the time you don't have to go out to the restaurants anymore you can make them right at home which is pretty cool once you learn how to do this it couldn't be simpler so please give these recipes a try i can't stop eating give these recipes a try please subscribe to my video channel i've got lots more coming for you and uh thank you very much for watching